Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about what are the min string and max string functions. And before I move ahead, just a quick information that if you want to learn some data science related uh, tutorials or R programming, you can visit my channel data science tutorial. And if you want to learn about Tableau and all, then you can uh, visit my channel BIM programming tutorial videos. All right, let me come back to the click view. And here I have the example ready for you. So what I have just for explanation is the very simple data set which has uh, four columns, category, city, price and product. And uh, then I have used uh, the min string and max string function to explain how it really works because sometimes it becomes really confusing though it is very useful but uh, we are not able to achieve the right results out of it. And that's mainly because uh, the kind of output it gives uh, it based on the specific type of data which we are supplying to it. So basically what we have here is in the data set is the as you can say category. So we have two categories. We have three different cities information Delhi, uh, Gurgaon and Noida. The price of the products. So if I show you if I just filter it by product or then as you can see I have a chair as a product and in Delhi and Gurgaon it is the same product but in Noida it is it is basically an expensive one the same chair is basically expensive and a similar sort of example you would see if you review the data so you can probably pause and review the data but uh, the idea is that uh, these values are repetitive in nature and what we really want to figure it out based on these uh, repetitive values across the cities and the categories of products what are the minimum value which is attached to a particular string so for example if i want to figure it out okay i have these two categories then based on the price where in which city i have the minimum price or in uh, which category i have the minimum price if that is what we want to figure it out so Let's go ahead and uh, see the uh, example in action. So here we have taken uh, two dimension, the category and the price. So if I right click on the properties and show you the dimension, we have taken category and price as the dimension. Generally, you would see that uh, we do not take continuous uh, column into the dimension. But in this case, we'll have to take it uh, and I've taken it here as a price. And then, then in the expression, I have uh, min string city and min string product. So let's spend a few minutes over here. So here, what min string city is basically saying that here in the electronics category, where in which city I have the minimum price. So and again, uh, for the particular product as well. So here in this uh, electronics category we have three categories of fan and the first occurrence will be taken as the minimum one because for all the three cities you have the same price but the first occurrence will be taken as the first one as part of the min string function if it would be let's say 1000 1200 and 1000 uh, and 1500 then in that case the daily will would have been taken only so that's that's how you know main string basically decide so let's go back to another example maybe here in this case of uh, uh, tv for example we have uh, 20000 in delhi 25000 in gurgaon and 20000 again in noida so here in electronics for tv we have the function have taken the first value the delhi for example here in this case and in gurgaon it has taken 25000 so ideally the case is that if you have repetitive values then it identifies what is the first minimum value for one first dimension and if there is any other minimum value or any other value for second city as in this case 25,000 in Gurgaon it will take that also. So understanding data what we are supplying to this min string and max string is really uh, helpful uh, when trying to achieve the desired result. So let's go come back to uh, max string. So here in this case max string if we see uh, for fan Noida has been taken and as you can see over here Delhi, Gurgaon and Noida. Noida is coming the last. So whatever is coming the last in case of max string 
that is what it is taking. So in case of min string, when we identify minimum string value, it takes the first value. And in case of max, max string, it takes the last value. And that's basically the difference. And there is nothing uh, difference from the syntax perspective. You just go ahead and specify the, the column name or the value in which you have the string values and you want to identify the minimum or maximum string that is attached to the numeric values that you have. And that's very easily you will identify uh, in which product, in which city, country or wherever the minimum or maximum values are which you otherwise have to do it with the help of some sort of expressions. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and give you a de demo about the main string and max string but if you have any question please to ask me in the comment and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.